Antarctica is one of the last truly remote and unexplored regions on Earth, and about 10% of the planet's land surface is covered in ice. However, we are only now beginning to learn the vast amount of secrets that this frozen continent has kept hidden since the beginning of its history. As Antarctica was just recently discovered, it should be impossible for there to be anything besides ice and snow there, yet this is proving to be untrue thanks to unexpected life in the coldest and darkest regions of Antarctica, as well as ancient structures that defy all historical knowledge. What disturbing images have been made in Antarctica that no one can explain? Join us as we explore what they discovered in Antarctica that shocked the whole world. Life is reviving and defying all of our preconceived notions about how life may endure in the deepest, darkest regions of our planet. After drilling through the roughly 10,000-foot-thick filched neuron ice sheet to examine the seafloor below, scientists absolutely by accident uncovered a thriving population residing on a sea rock. Nobody anticipated what they would discover thriving there. 16 sponges in total and 22 unknown creatures, maybe barnacles, were photographed on a boulder in the middle of the icy, gloomy Antarctica. The discovery of life beneath an Antarctic ice sheet is the first of its kind and suggests that sunlight may not always be necessary for life. The first photosynthesizing animals can be found in the open ocean, 160 kilometers from where these species were discovered. Although little is known about these bizarre Antarctic sea sponges, studies indicate that they could be 10,000 years old. Surviving this long in water that is only 2 degrees Celsius is no small feat. Second, the discovery that researchers made frozen in ice stunned the entire world and the research team itself was baffled by this paranormal find. The team was traversing an ice sheet when they discovered something beneath their feet that shocked the world. They had not expected to find anything in the icy, desolate landscape. An alien-like species was encased in ice in a remote, snowy area of our globe and met an awful death in the frozen world. The researcher was able to get a closer look since the body of this obviously non-human creature was extraordinarily well preserved in the ice. They discovered upon closer examination that this creature was unlike anything that had ever been discovered on our planet and we could still make out its unearthly traits in a bizarre alien-like appearance that is both fascinating and very unsettling. Could this be evidence of past contact with extraterrestrial life? Was this a botched landing where an alien ended up stranded in the most hostile environment on Earth? Additionally, recent investigations have shown that there are far more meteors hidden in the Antarctic plain than we ever believed, which is wonderful news for meteorite seekers. As the ice and freezing circumstances of Antarctica are ideal for keeping these space rocks preserved and the dark stones stand out in the vast, pristine environment there, the continent has been a hotspot for many years for meteorite detection. In fact, only 13 of the 45,000 meteors that have been found by researchers in Antarctica account for all the meteors that could possibly be there right now. Artificial intelligence was used to assist in the making of this discovery. The places where meteors are most frequently observed are known as blue ice zones, where the presence of a Goldilocks zone makes black meteors visible by turning the ice blue. Blue ice regions were previously only discovered by pure chance and costly exploration flights, but today's software is able to analyze satellite data and identify the best locations to look for meteors. The program is currently 83% accurate and has already found roughly 300,000 meteors in Antarctica that hadn't yet been found. These extraterrestrial rocks contain important hints about our past, the development of our planet and the evolution of the solar system. Finding a big cache of space pebbles that have journeyed across space before arriving on our planet is among the most fascinating things you could do. A huge swarm of locusts once flew over Montana during the 1800s, causing the sun to be obscured for six hours. Although a swarm of this size is totally unfathomable, the majority of the locusts who attempted to cross the Rocky Mountains during their migration were killed when they became stranded in deadly snowstorms. 
When grasshoppers swarm, a very unsettling thing happens. They transform into the dreaded locust, which will destroy an entire crop in a matter of days. When these enormous swarms gather, something resembling mass panic takes place and the grasshoppers go through bodily changes like darkening their bodies, beginning to grow larger wings and increasing their appetite. These locust swarms were not just interested in crops, they were also known to consume sheep's wool right off the animal, devour clothing and eventually engage in cannibalism during their frenzied movement. Before. A swarm of these locusts could easily hold trillions of grasshoppers that had undergone a metamorphosis. During that time, these swarms had to dissipate, but what remained were enormous glaciers that contained tons of frozen locusts. The different layers of locusts reveal that these enormous swarms frequently migrated over the Rocky Mountains. The ice perfectly preserved these now long-dead insects. Although several of these glaciers are no longer there, research on these locusts revealed that they are now a completely extinct species. The dead zone in Antarctica, which scientists say is essentially Mars-like conditions right here on Earth, was discovered to be so desolate and inhospitable that there was not even a slight trace of life in the snow. This discovery is both frightening and mysterious. Millions of microorganisms and microbacteria can be discovered at even the most desolate soil, except for one area that is thousands of feet above sea level and has no sign of any microbial life. It is generally agreed that this is the planet's deadliest location because it casts doubt on the possibility of discovering extraterrestrial life elsewhere in the universe. It seems odder that the soil beneath the ice does not contain any signs of life when we realize that there are life forms surviving in acidic geothermal pools where there is nothing but blazing heat and hazardous chemicals. To the surprise of the scientists researching this distant area, the samples were gathered at temperatures of approximately minus 17 degrees Celsius, which appears to be the breaking point for life on Earth. Nothing but unpleasant doubts about the likelihood of us ever coming into contact with or contacting extraterrestrial life forms could be found, as even the most basic forms of life cannot survive in a cold, desolate environment, scientists believe that these conditions on this planet closely resemble those on the majority of planets in the universe. The Captain Robert Scott mission was no different from the vast majority of early excursions to the harsh Antarctic that ended in total failure. Something astonishing discovered preserved in ice, discovered more than a century after the strange conclusion to this mission, has now provided some light on what happened to this unlucky team. It turns out that the team did reach their destination, but bad weather and running low on supplies caused them to meet a grim end in the frozen wilderness. A detailed notebook that belonged to the zoologist, surgeon and photographer on the mission was discovered. He actually kept a pretty detailed record of what they saw. The notebook's pages were meticulously removed, scanned and restored after it was found during an annual thawing of some of the Antarctic ice. The book was then rebounded and transported back to Antarctica, where it is displayed with 11,000 other relics that have been discovered there. The notebook did suffer from a century of decay, but the frigid conditions did their bit to keep it as well preserved as they could and it now adds another piece to the jigsaw of what went so horribly wrong on this expedition. In the early days of human discovery, there were numerous attempts to be the first to make the impossibly long journey to Antarctica, and this journal today serves as a sobering reminder of what may happen when nature truly demonstrates its inexorable force. One of the most significant buildings ever built by humans is located on a remote island above the Arctic Circle. It is the most important key to the survival of future humankind that we could possibly leave behind. The Doomsday Vault is filled with seeds instead of cash, oil, priceless minerals or coal. The massive global seed bank is located on the Norwegian island of Svalbard and houses more than 930,000 varieties of food crops that are still viable in the event of a catastrophic disaster. In essence, it's a sizable, safe deposit box that houses the largest agricultural biodiversity collection in the world. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.